Alright, now heading down the stairs. You want to wait for the fire pulses to let you through. And don't run into the fire unless you're an idiot like me. Now when stuff blows up like that, I find it so annoying because you can't aim for shit. So it messes you all up, especially if you got guys shooting around in front of you. Just makes your life that much harder than it needs to be. So, this game, I don't even know what to say about it. There's not much to say in a voiceover about this game. Here's an Intel piece. Because I don't want to go completely off topic, even though some people like that. But I don't have anything to go off topic about. Anyway, you know, since Resident Evil 5 that's coming out tomorrow. Well, if any of you are interested, my game plan is for guides. I'm going to do Resident Evil 5, then probably finish Fear 2 or Dead Space, and then I'm gonna, once I finish those, those two, I'm going on to kill them. So what you want to do is you want to head down that ladder just a little bit and then come back up, and a bunch of guys are going to come, and you just want to take him out from up here instead of rushing him. So those two come and you want to come on like this side of the barrel. You can't shoot them through the grates apparently. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Depends how the game is feeling. If the game feels you. So go on this side of the barrel and you can usually pick off whoever's left. So once it's about all clear, you can go ahead and head down the ladders. And as you head down the ladders, a few more guys are going to be coming from the opposite way of where those guys just came from. And these guys drop assault rifles, which are, are better than the uh, submachine gun, but not a lot. Like the submachine gun takes like six or seven shots to kill something, the assault rifle takes like maybe four at the most. But up until now, the submachine gun is just fine, and I use it for I use it for the rest of the game. But I towards the end of the game, I start using the assault rifle more. Two guns I have with me at all times are the SMG and the assault rifle. So this door screws with you. I can't. I don't know how the graphics are in this game. Like, to me, the, I love the graphics, but I can't decide if they have a sort of cartoony feel to it. Like, it looks like they didn't try to go for a completely realistic look. That and the movements in this game, just the way the characters move, as weird as it sounds, are really cool. Like. I remember the first cutscene, the way the lady's waving her arms around and shit, like right when you start the game, is what really made me see the animations that are pretty cool. So just continue picking these guys off. I love the way they swear when they get a grenade thrown at them. They're like, holy shit, or fuck. It's like they have like Tourette's. Oh, and coming up is one of like the trickiest parts of this level too.
So those pipes fall and you just gotta run up the pipes. Not that hard of a trick. You gotta crouch under these. And right up here, after you grab that armor, is one of these inferno flamethrowing guys. Try to throw two grenades or three grenades right off the bat, right under his truck, so when he jumps out, they just blow up on contact. And once he dies, run behind this box. He's not really a guy you want to let him live for too long, because there's not a lot of cover you can take from him, other than that big spindle thing. And for the next wave of people that come, this is like the best spot to hide, and you're not going to get over here if he's still alive. But I don't think they trigger unless you kill him. So you basically just gotta watch the top balcony because groups of two come and there's only two people on the lower level right now. A few more of them come after. Once you start running up here, once after you kill all the guys, you about three people come down the ladder, and two of them are already down there somehow. Figure that one out. So try to throw grenades at them. You don't really need grenades that much in this game unless it's at a certain part where you know a bunch of guys are gonna come and you can take most of them out with one grenade. If I'm fighting like one or two guys, there is a small to no chance I will use a grenade on him. Unless he's either one giving me a lot of trouble and I'm getting aggravated, or he's just in a spot that I really can't shoot him. So, once you're all set around here, no more guys will come until you get on top of the ladders. So feel free to take your time climbing them. more of this explosion action thing. And now there's going to be one guy through the door and there's going to be like three or four guys to your right. So watch to your right and make sure you shoot these guys. Don't get too close to them because they blow up and like you see here I'm on fire and I'm getting scorched by these guys. The other thing you gotta look out for is them shooting you after they're dead because they have a tendency to do that. So only come down this this path right here if you need a health pack. There's a health pack for you and a grenade. And then you come back up here and you see a uh, ladder type thing. And coming up is one of the areas I found as best to use a grenade in most of this game, actually. There's that jackass who keeps trying to kill you. Fuckery. What kind of word is fuckery? So I threw that one too early. Well, that's about where you want to throw it. So throw another one and I took out a good four guys there, five guys there. I just want to work on taking this group out and you're all set.